Hey everybody, welcome channel. We're going to check out one of these trucks today. So stay tuned, let's see what we look at. Alright, there it is. TRX4M. <clears throat> got lucky and got one. We don't have, it's not available around. I got it uh, a week or so ago. And uh, time I had a chance to open it. So I'll open it up, get the battery charged, and we'll give it a try on the course back here. Full size radio, which that's pretty nice for a minute. There's plastic off here. Bad. Tires feel pretty soft. Obviously, no foams. We've all seen the videos. It says they're 1 0 tires, but they're wheels. They look a lot bigger than that, but maybe not. I do have a set of wheels sitting over here with you. Kind of got an idea. Yeah. They're close. They're close. So we'll see. Mirrors are nice and proportionate to the truck, which is nice. I guess maybe maybe a little big, but it don't look bad on there. I think the front looks nice. I've heard a couple people complain about it, but it looks alright to me. We'll get some lights in there eventually. Spare tire. Pop the body off, take a look. Inside the body, it's got some nice flex to it for hard body. I've seen a few 3D printed inner wheel wells for it, so I may check into that. Nothing different than anybody else's TRX4M. 180 motor it's just got the standard gear set I don't have the crawling gear um, I say that it'll work you just have to be easy on the trigger I wouldn't say the shocks are smooth but they're not horrible the little little spot right there you can kind of see it in the backs the same way they're not super smooth but it is 18th scale and they're just friction shocks and how they feel servo mounted to the axles a little bit different than what i've seen probably get the uh do the shrink tube mod to keep the pins in the they may get the crawling gear set for it i mean we're just running on the course back here so won't be any big deal does have lights in the front bump there, so that's nice. Let's uh, open this battery up and take a look. The ESC and radio receiver are one unit, so if you were wanting to go to a brushless unit or something, you know, brushless motor, you have to get the speed control and the receiver to do that. 750 milliamp. 20C 7.4 volt. The only thing that's really odd is that it's got a three wire plug. <clears throat> and I've not heard anybody really switching that over to a standard plug or other batteries over to this plug because of the three wire. But I'm sure with a little more research I could find somebody that's done it. Battery straps, rubber and stretchy, so that's pretty nice actually. Battery fits pretty nice in there. It's pretty easy to change that out. Not sure if there's any charge in this battery. All right, we got the batteries in the radio. They were giving me a little bit of problem. Kept wanting to pop out. I'm not sure why that is, but so let's turn this radio on. 
plug the battery in. There is no on off switch that I can see. There's a set. There it goes. So I think if you just hold down on this mode one, mode two. That to be. Well, that's definitely got break. See what mode one does. No, that's definitely not it. And there's mode three. There it is. Instant reverse. That's in uh, mode three. So let's get the body on it and give it a test run real quick. See what we can. It does have lights in the front bumper. I blind you. Okay, here we go. Got pretty decent steering radius. It does look like the dual rate needs to be turned up a little bit. seem to grip pretty good. Spare tire simulator keeps it from flipping over real easy, so that's nice. It does have some motor stall, so, that, so I think the gearing will come in handy there. This is the first time really driving on this course, so not got a lot of, uh, don't really know what lines work and which ones don't and which ones are for more comp style. something with the motor with the stall that it's got. Let's see it is a little jumpy. The suspension seems to work fairly decent. center there. Oh, I was wrong. Fits right through there. Right through there, she's a little snug.
scratches on the black, which kind of expected it to be that way. Mirrors flex out of the way pretty nice. I'm sure they'll break off eventually. That way was a little sticky. Seems to do the job. Makes a little noise under a load. Well, there's a little run video for you, or run time, or whatever I did there. Just take a look at how this battery charges here. Of course, it's going to be upside down. Move this out of the way for a moment. so we can see the lights. Green flashing means that it's charging. I think this red is just that the power is on. And then it shows it'll be a solid green and it's charged. Yeah, it shows flashing green red is charging solid red and solid green means it's fully charged. And then if the yellow and red come on, that's an error. I'm not sure how long it'll take to charge. I've heard it's not horrible. We'll keep an eye on it. If it's a ridiculous amount of time, I'll update you. We managed to get some scratches on the doors. I'm sure there's a couple on the roof. And it's going to show a lot more because it's black. I kind of expected it. Um, it's, really the, it's really smooth as far as the transmission and axle gears and... And there's a little bit of drive shaft play, but not much uh, ring and pinion play. I'll do a short video on when we do the heat shrink mod on the drive shafts. Maybe look around, see if there's a high clearance center skid transmission mount. And we'll probably just run this servo until it gets weak, and then we'll put a Reefs 99 in it. TRX4M. Overall, eh, not a bad truck for $150 for what you get and the money. And the hop-ups really aren't too overly expensive for it. So I think it'll be a nice little truck to get some friends together and do some running. See what we can break. All right, well, thanks for watching. Till next time. Like and subscribe so you can see our next box opening. We're going to do a Puritech Cayman carbon fiber kit. I'm not sure. See how that body fits it. Um, it is a hard body. Um, put a Helios battery in it. Uh, if you don't know Helios, go check them out. Decent price batteries. I've had really good luck with them. Speed control with the Bluetooth module. It came in carbon fiber kit. Comes with the uh, Outrunner engine.
fast servo, portal axles, aluminum links, carbon fiber chassis, obviously. Um, we'll take a look at this, see, uh, see what it's all about. the orange theme or the green theme. Uh, so we got the wheels. We got some pin tires for it. The big ones. Might be too big. Not real sure. Um, but they're good size tires here. In comparison next to the TRX4M.